Hurricane hunters serve an invaluable role when it comes to storm forecasting, but you know, Dave, it's a job that's not for the faint of heart. Not at all, because these planes, while they're flying thousands of feet in the air, they're going in and out of hurricanes. What they're getting is real-time raw data that the experts at the National Hurricane Center can use. It's a bumpy and difficult job that can be life-saving. They fly into the eye of the storm when we need them most. Tracking the storms threatening life and property, this WP3D Orion is one of the National Hurricane Center's greatest tools in tracking hurricanes. And for pilot Andrew Reeves, it's the ride of a lifetime. A good way to think about it is uh, riding an old wooden roller coaster through a car wash. This will be his second year as a Hurricane Hunter pilot. His job, like other pilots before him, get into the storm and get as much data as possible. Various radar systems. Uh, we have cloud physics probes, uh, basically water droplet detection. We have uh, wind speed uh, monitors. It's a flying weather station that can be taken into the storm. What weather stations are in the middle of the ocean? None, right? That station will move with the storm, tracking it along the way. As we fly the, the storm and as it progresses, you know, we're continually updating the fixes. And so that's how we get the data of like, hey, the, the storm is tracking north, south, you know, south, whatever the track of the storm is, that's how we, we get it. Not only tracking where the storm is, but also how it's changing. That's what electronics engineer Stephen Paul would monitor with these small devices called dropsons. So this is a weather instrument that we dropped from the tube here that uh, measures temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed, wind direction as it falls to the surface. The instrument may be lost at sea, but the data it sends back is critical to the forecasts. These, the data that we collect with these gets input into the models that the forecasters use to determine where the storm may go and how strong it might be. It's the forecast cone that is generated by the National Hurricane Center that is the end result of all this data collection and analysis. They're just world-class uh, people and um, they do such an amazing um, thing not only for the National Hurricane Center, but for our community as a whole. Every mission has both flight personnel and scientists working to get the plane where it needs to be for the best data the National Hurricane Center can use. Our scientists oftentimes come on board with us um, and they have their own scientific objectives and they have their own instrumentation in which they're monitoring. One thing helping the mission this year are these unmanned devices that will get data on their own. What that uh, allows us to do is uh, remain inside the eye of the storm for longer uh, and can collect more data. The more data these sensors can collect from inside the storm can mean more detailed storm tracking and forecasts. It's what these and other scientists and crew love to do, despite a few literal bumps in the road. It's the greatest flying job there is.